sec. I don't remember where the hell I left off on this thing. It's been busy as hell and this thing's gotten neglected. So I uh, just threw the exhaust back on here. Uh, welded here, got a resonator. Haven't welded here yet. This is welded. This is just tacked. And probably gonna kick this up, throw a V-band up in here. Once I do that, I'll pull this whole section off and do all the finish welding. <laughs> here somewhere uh, you probably can't see anything just pretend you can see something cool should make it a whole lot easier to hold it worst parts I was trying to put this thing back up here on your, on your own point where everything starts getting a little more difficult. Love these mufflers. They both look awesome and sound awesome. Trying to leave the bubble wrap on uh, for the body of it while I move it around a hundred times. This would be a perfect candidate for ceramic coating the muffler black. But you can see I said things are going to get a little tougher and then the sway bar is like literally right in the way. Um, so we got to go up, over, down, angled, and then back over all in this short period of time. So I'm probably going to actually have to cut the mufflers back on both sides. And there's not really an easy way to do that. God damn. This thing just got dropped off today. This one should be pretty fun. It's a Holley Terminator X car. Well, truck, I guess. So, there'll be a video on this one soon. to fit the largest muffler I could and I successfully did that definitely wish it was maybe a couple inches shorter it'd be easy to work with but this will quiet it down nicely and this is the worst part of the whole deal because you don't have any room to work with and you can't see what you're doing you can really go for an extra set of hands right about now Bitch. Looks like that's going to be close enough to tack it and try it. Ow. Oh. 
If anything, it looks like it might have to take a little bit of angle out of this side, but I gotta get everything in place. When you're trying to hold 14 different pieces of shit, uh, everything moves and you think it works, but it doesn't. So if I wouldn't have to cut the muffler, then like you can actually insert the tubing into it, which helps hold it and align it and everything else. But now that I've had to cut it, it's gonna have to be like an exact fit. Here's what we got so far. Yeah, this sucks. I'm going home. I'll deal with this tomorrow. Started to walk out of the door, then I remembered I have tools. That just changed everything. Taking a little bit of angle out of it and trying to get up over that uh, rear lower control arm. I'm not sure how well you can see, but it's getting close. If we go over here, I can't reach. Shit. Ugh. I think I need to take a few more degrees out of it. Oh yeah, from this angle you can definitely tell. Well, I can. You probably can't. One more cut and I think you should be good. So if you hold a piece of straight up on there, you can see... Well, maybe you can't. But we're a few degrees too low. If we were more like here, it would be alright. That looks good. Don't have enough hands to hold all this. I'm just gonna do some baby tacks. Considering I only get one hand in there at a time to fit this up, I'm pretty damn happy with that. Got plenty of clearance everywhere. Actually fits right on the money. It's not tacked or anything, it's just holding itself there. So it looks like it's off a little bit right here. But if you just kind of press the two together, then that lines up just fine. Now I might have to Finesse this a little bit just to reposition the muffler here. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and weld that. Another thing to keep into consideration when you're going over a control arm like this is here's the pivot point. So the closer you are to here, the less this is gonna go up and down as to where the further you go this way, the more the suspension is gonna travel. So pretty close over here. The car is on a four post lift. So this is what we have for available clearance as to where if you do this on a two post lift, uh, you can learn the hard way that the suspension will sag, it'll be down here. You think you clear it, and then you lower it down on the ground, and then you smash right into it. So I'm gonna, I guess, weld all this stuff now. Fits good, 360 degrees around, so I'm gonna tack it on the car, pull it off, weld it. Then I'll have to chop this down, and then we'll make a little dingling tip, and then weld that. Throw some hangers on it and call it good. You see got a little micro weld there. You see what I mean how dumb it looks just having two welds right on top of each other. Uh, but in order to get a, a weld wide enough uh, to cover both of those welds, it's going to take a little bit of heat. So I uh, did one weld just so I don't have to worry about blowing holes in anything. And then now it's going to be welded twice so it'll be a good bit stronger. Try to add a little color to it. But now we got one big weld. Looking uh, through the viewfinder here, it doesn't look nearly as like nice through the camera as it does with my eyes. But These eyes. in a perfect world, I would have rather had to not cut the muffler down and do that. And then uh, I guess you could kind of argue that I could have cut that weld out too. Um, then we would have lost some of the reinforcement inside the muffler and it potentially would have been too big. and. It's uh, yeah, just kind of like would have been a little bit risky, so it is what it is. Slash cut this. Look something like that. So now I just gotta cut down the muffler real quick. Now with this one, since it's at the end, it doesn't need to support any weight. 
and it's uh, straight tubes going to be inserted into it so I can expand it and make it larger. I am just going to cut the whole weld off. Uh, that way I can just do a little small weld since it's at the back of the car and you'll actually see it. I have to be the only person stupid enough to go through all this extra crap just to cut one inch of shit off so that uh, the tip can be just that much longer. I don't know, hopefully somebody will appreciate it. So now the perforated tube on the inside where it was welded has been cut. So before I put the tube in, just going to do a little tiny weld around here just to make sure and when i weld that other tube on it was probably all blend in but going this far why half ass it now kind of looks like a little laser weld i think somebody farted in the muffler it stinks here's what i was referring to on the size difference so i wouldn't have been able to expand that um, on the other side because there was a bend coming right off of it and when you try to expand on a band, it, it doesn't do what you would think it would do. This is here where I had to flare it to meet the muffler. Like a little simple slash cut tip. Alright, here's a dilemma. I don't have enough uh, round bar shit for the exhaust hangers. And usually I get it at Fastenal, which is actually like right through that wall. So now I'm going from like being able to finish this to most likely not being able to finish this. So it's kind of frustrating. I think I'm just going to tack this tip on and then tack all the hangers in place and then pull it all down one time just to do the final welding. Always do three tacks if it's something that you don't want to move because if you do two it can still pivot. two back here done and this one's actually going to be on this section and then I am, I don't have enough for right here so I can pull the uh, back muffler part off finish all that welding and then I'll just have to pull this middle section out one more time be on the dyno all day tomorrow so I don't know if I'll get any hanger before then but uh, I guess rather than driving to go and get it maybe I'll just order some online so I couldn't not finish this. It was just driving me crazy. Some trash exploded. Um, I went and got some some more uh, exhaust hanger stuff. So I'm gonna finish this up real quick. And a pair of mirror image turbo showed up. So uh, I have some twin turbo fab work video stuff coming up here pretty soon. That's always fun. One left. Ah, shit.
always pull the exhaust off and weld all the way around the hanger. Just don't be lazy and just weld the hanger on the car. They break all the time. I think this thing turned out pretty awesome. I got as much clearance as I can possibly get just about everywhere. ground clearance as I can get so I'd start it so you could hear it but I got about a hundred thousand uh, other things I got to do first all right I don't make any money doing exhaust because they take way too long and you can't charge enough so I gotta go uh, do something to be able to afford to pay some bills now There's something super important I'm forgetting to do and I, for the life of me I can't remember what it is so I'm gonna try and figure that out too but that's gonna do it for this video Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.